academic setting, often we have samples that have ample tissue for biomarker testing. Beyond HER2 IHC, we find that a next, generation, next generation sequencing uh, will give us a, a broader view and understand, understanding of the tumor biology. We know that in gastric cancer, similar to colon cancer, for example, if you have RAS alterations or RAS drivers in the tumor that is also ERB2 amplified, the duration of response may not be as great and progression-free survival is shorter when HER2 is not the true driver. So that's an important distinction. And increasingly, as NGS is becoming approved and routinely used both in academic and clinical uh, practice settings, it's critical to make sure that you have and you work on getting unstained slides and extra tissue block on the, on the big tumor sample uh, as uh, both IHC and NGS can facilitate understanding of the biology of HER2 directed therapies, but also may help us in the future monitor for minimal residual disease or escape mechanisms using match, tumor match circulating tumor DNA analysis having that liquid biopsy, but also knowing what the tumor mutation profile is, is very powerful and will help us understand the mechanisms of resistance and may in the future help us identify the early progressors uh, before the patient becomes radiographically uh, uh, increasing disease burden and clinical deterioration.